Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Wisdom Tutorials. I am back with another interesting topic, name of the chapter is Periodic Classification of Elements. In the next 10 minutes, we are going to understand who was the first personality who started his journey to classify the elements. If you are new to our channel, please like and if you find this video interesting, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Let us begin. Now children, before we begin with this chapter, I will give you two situations. Now on the screen you can observe two places. Now if you want to go for a very quick shopping out of these two places, which place you shall be selecting for a quick shopping? Correct children. Now why have you selected place number two? Because there the clothes are systematically arranged. So here since there was a systematic arrangement done, the task of shopping became very simple. Let us understand another example. Now here on the screen you can observe two different situations. Now if you want to get a required book very easily out of these two places, which place you shall be selecting to get your required book easily? Beautiful children, place number one. Can you tell me the reason why have you selected place number one? Outstanding because again here the books are systematically arranged. Now children out of these two examples, can you tell me the books, the clothes which were arranged, they were arranged on what basis? Correct. The clothes were arranged on the basis of the size, on the basis of their brands, also on the basis of their colors. Similarly, the books were arranged according to the name of the author. So here, to arrange anything children, what we require, we require a base. Now children, today we are aware of 118 elements. But in the earlier days, there were very few elements. And those elements were classified into two simple types, metals and non-metals. But slowly and gradually what happened, more and more and more elements got discovered. Now those elements were showing both the properties of metals as well as non-metals. So those elements were termed as metalloids. What are metalloids children? These are the type of element that has both the properties of metals as well as non-metals. After few more years, several more elements got discovered and it was very difficult for the scientist to classify them into metals, non-metals and metalloids. So what they have decided that there has to be some systematic arrangement done. So there was a need of systematic arrangement. The real journey to classify the elements was began in the year 1817. It was done by a German scientist whose name was Johann Wolfgang Doberiner. But what Doberiner ne sabse pehle kya kiya? He established the relationship. Relationship between what children? A relationship between mass of the element and their properties. Now when I say properties, always remember properties are of two types. Ek hote hain physical property, ek hote hain chemical properties. So Doberiner ne simply kya kiya? Atomic mass or properties ka relation establish kiya. He tried to classify element for the first time taking atomic mass as the basic fundamental characteristic property. Let us understand how he classified the elements. So, first of all, what did he do? At his time, there were around 30 elements. So, what he did? He arranged all those chemically similar elements. Now, when I say chemically similar, chemically similar ka matlab kya hai? Unke chemical properties are similar to each other. तो सबसे पहले क्या किया सारे सिमिलर एलिमेंट्स को अरेंज कर दिया अच्छा अरेंज कैसे किया इट वाज अरेंज्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर एटॉमिक मासेस एंड दैट वाज डन इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ 3 नाउ सिंस इट वाज 3 इट वाज फेमसली कॉल्ड एज डोबेराइनर्स ट्रायड नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एग्जांपल नाउ हियर चिल्ड्रन ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व देयर आर ग्रुप ऑफ 3 एलिमेंट्स Lithium, Sodium and Potassium. Now first of all these three elements are chemically similar to each other. 
केमिकली सिमिलर मतलब क्या इनके केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर सिमिलर लाइक दे आर ऑल मेटल्स दे हैव वन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन देर आउटर मोस्ट शेल अच्छा लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड देयर मासेस व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे वर अरेंज्ड इन द इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर मासेस एटॉमिक मास फॉर लिथियम इज 6.9 Atomic mass for sodium is 23 and atomic mass for potassium is 39.1. So they are also arranged in the increasing order of their masses. अच्छा इसके बाद डोबेराइनर ने क्या किया? He was observing these three numbers and he came to a conclusion that when he calculated the average of first and the last elements atomic mass. It was found to be equal to that of the mass of middle element. For example, the mass of the first element is six point nine. Mass of the last element is thirty nine point one. If you try to calculate the average of these two number, you will find that the average is forty six. Forty six when it is divided by two, the value becomes twenty three. That means average value of two elements. the mass of two elements was equal to that of the mass of middle element and by this observation he gave a very famous law which was termed as dobereiner's law of triad the law states that in a triad that means in a group of three chemically similar element the mass of middle element is approximately equal to the mean of the masses of other two elements okay Let's take another example, children. On the screen, you can observe three elements: calcium, strontium, and barium. First of all, they are chemically similar. पहला point clear. Let's understand the second point. Second point क्या था, children? It has to be arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses. Mass for calcium, atomic mass for calcium is forty point one. Atomic mass for strontium is eighty seven point six, and atomic mass for barium is one thirty seven point three. They are already arranged in its increasing order of its atomic masses. अच्छा arrange करने के बाद क्या किया? He calculated mean mean of what children the first and the last elements atomic masses. अच्छा first element का atomic mass कितना था? Forty point one. लास्ट एलिमेंट का एटॉमिक मास कितना था 137.3 अच्छा दोनों को ऐड करके डिवाइड बाय 2 करेंगे यू विल गेट द वैल्यू एज 177.4 डिवाइड बाय 2 करोगे यू विल गेट द नंबर एज 88.7 मास ऑफ मिडिल एलिमेंट क्या है इट इज 87.6 सो 88.7 एंड 87.6 आर दे एप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल यस चिल्ड्रन दे आर एप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल so here also we can give a very beautiful statement that the atomic mass of middle element was again approximately equal to the mean of the masses of other two elements simple let's consider another example now children here on the screen you can observe three more chemically similar element nitrogen phosphorus and arsenic nitrogen ka symbol s phosphorus is p and arsenic is as they are chemically similar let us consider their atomic masses nitrogen ka mass kitna hai 14.0 nitrogen ke baad it was phosphorus phosphorus is 31.0 and arsenic is 74.9 they are arranged in its increasing order iske baad dobereiner ne kya kiya mean calculate kiya किसका मीन कैलकुलेट किया मीन कैलकुलेट किया द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज नाइट्रोजन मास कितना 14.0 लास्ट एलिमेंट इज आर्सेनिक मास कितना 74.9 अच्छा दोनों को ऐड करके डिवाइड बाय 2 करेंगे यू विल गेट द वैल्यू एज 88.9 ऑन डिवाइडिंग बाय 2 द फाइनल आंसर इज 44.45 व्हाट इज द मास ऑफ मिडिल एलिमेंट चिल्ड्रेन मिडल एलिमेंट का मास इज 31.0 हमें जो एवरेज एटॉमिक मास मिला दैट इज 44.45 आर दे इक्वल आर दे अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल नो वेस सो हियर वी सी दैट दिस 
group of triad is not following Dobereiner's law. Achha, Dobereiner ka rule kya tha? The rule was very simple. The mass of middle element is approximately equal to the mean of the masses of other two elements which is not applicable to this triad. Hence we say this triad is not following Dobereiner's rule. Children, there were few triads who were able to follow Dobereiner's law. There were few triads who were unable to follow Dobereiner's law. So, some triads follow, some triads follow, nahi kar rahe hai. Hence, his system of classification was failed. I give you some more examples. Aapko kya karna hai? You just have to check whether these triads follow Dobereiner's law or they do not follow Dobereiner's law. Remember one thing children, each example of triad come in your board examination for 3 marks. So the marks are very important. Children, we just saw that the very first attempt to classify the element was failed. But the journey didn't stop. It was further taken up by another wonderful personality regarding whom we shall be studying in our next video. One more important thing children, we have added some important link into the description by which you can easily join our groups. There you will find all the study materials related to the chapter, all the important questions from your examination point of view. Be safe guys. Thank you so much.